People think that foster care is a full-time gig, and that is not always the case. You can do just short-term care. You can just do respite. We have a lot of families that do that. I've learned about DECA and the opportunity to provide this short-term respite and was able to fit that into my other responsibilities. So still having a full-time job and able to, at the same time, provide short-term care. Respite is something that a lot of people don't know about until they need it. There is foster care respite, so those kids are in foster care, and they are with a foster family, and the foster family needs some additional support for a short period of time. There is Family Pres Respite. DECO has a family preservation program. Those kids aren't in foster care, but they are at risk for it. The goal is for them to remain stable in their homes, in their communities that they're familiar with, with their families. We also do SED waiver respite. That is also another program where they're not in foster care. They're with biological or adoptive family. They have some different emotional needs and just need an extra support. We partner with the mental health center and it's a medical service, so it's a little bit different than other respites. It tries to keep them in home. We work with the families and the child through the mental health. DECA is especially equipped for all these different respite programs because they see how they fit together. The caseworkers are also really clear about what's the same and what's different. From a number of these programs, I'm serving other DECA families. I think of myself when I'm providing respite as trying to prevent domino effects. Being able to care for a child for part of a day or a day or a weekend can often feel really small and like that might not have a big impact. But if that's preventing that child from experiencing continued trauma or other family members experiencing trauma or is allowing that child to then re-enter the home and stay, that's preventing all of those other effects from happening. You come in with your life experience, whatever we can do to help build that and make it useful for you and the kids is the ultimate goal. We've seen a lot of kids come into our house and see that more structured atmosphere that they're not getting at home. That's our job is to step in and prepare them to be able to become who they are intended to be. For me, respite is about stability and keeping the child home. And for children who are home with their biological parents, we want to help those parents care for their children. And if respite's part of that, then that's a great resource. If you love families, you want to find a way to support them, sign up. Mm -hmm.